Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of adult age. Dave's Empire 1981 here with a super special uh, mail call product unboxing. I'm not going to say it in the video, but you'll know what it is if you read the title of the video when I post it. So there we are. I uh, found out this existed uh, recently, and because of tax return, I had a little extra money that I could just buy a couple of things, and this is one that I absolutely had to have. So, if this is what I ordered, we'll find out together. Yes, let's open this box. I get my handy dandy knife slice the top it's it's beefy it's heavy let me flip it down tapes pretty well I purchased it off eBay it came in from New Jersey and it came pretty quick two three days and it was here so let me put the knife down. Let's see, open this. Da, da, da. Nice bunch of paper here. Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen. You got a little peek at it there. Let me get this paper out of the way get this box out of the way <clears throat> all right ladies and gentlemen this is my very first mezco 112 figure this is the previews exclusive 2019 hellboy I really enjoyed the actor David Harbour's work at, that I've seen so far. Uh, the movie was not great, but I enjoyed him in it as the character of Hellboy. So I had to have this one. And it looks legit. And it's still wrapped in a plastic bag. This is Anun Unrama edition of it there's a shot at the back we get this outer wrap plastic bag off and we'll get our first look at the figure here folks <laughs> let me sharpen my damn knife Ooh, it looks like it is double bagged See, there's the outer bag. And it's got a little slip cover of plastic to protect the tin. Keep that slip cover to the side. I'll put that back on later. This box looks like it opens like a lunch box. It's got a hinge at the top. Okay, let's look at the box. It is a tin. That's Mezco 112 Collective. Pose, play, display at the bottom. PX previews exclusive there. Hellboy at the top. Hellboy at the bottom. MezcoToys.com on that side. 112 Collective on that side. Flip it around to the back. That is cool, folks. We got sword, flaming sword, horseshoe, and two interchangeable heads. With the horns, without the horns. We've got customized handgun, removable belt, and seven interchangeable hands. Three right hands of doom, four regular left hands, a crown of flames, removable trench coat, removable tank top, and 112 collective display with adjustable posing post. This thing looks amazing in the package. There's some legal stuff down there. Lionsgate. Choking hazard. Barcode. You want to see the barcode? 
There it is. Okay. Let's get this sucker turned around. Lay it down. Slide that out. One twelve collectors product care guidelines. I will look at that later. Let's flip this. Up. I'm going to change the angle of the camera just a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get this thing tipped up so we can see it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Wow. Well, this thing is cool. So let's just do that there for a second. Let's see if we can adjust the camera angle. All right, this comes in real nice inner case, inner plastic shell thing. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Underneath is the bag. It's got the display stand, and the trench coat. You know, let's just get everything out of this outer box here. Let's take a look at everything today, folks. Put this beautiful tin to the side. Save Hellboy himself for a minute. Let's look at the accessories first. I'm a sucker for good accessories. Tip that over. This here looks to be a protector bag for accessories or whatnot. For later storage or whatever. It's 112 collective bag. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to use it for. But it is cool to have. Tuck that back there. Pretty good length uh, display stand. It's stiff. So, be able to get some good stuff with that. Let me flatten that back out. So, put it back in there. Apparently, if you don't get the 90 perfect, it won't go back in the tray. Get that out of the way. Got a vinyl piece of plastic to protect the surface there. Very cool. Set that back there. Let's take a look at the trench coat. Like I said, folks, this is my very first Mezco 112 collective figure. They are expensive. And it seems like maybe this would be a tax return treat once in a while or some other special event kind of purchase. Nice soft goods tank top here. Some stretchy -ish, stretchy fabric. It's got Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense logo on the front. That's pretty cool. A trench coat here got a nice fuzzy collar good stitching here it has a bendy wire in the bottom so you'll be able to pose it in a way so that's cool pose it half open half closed it's got pocket flaps no pockets but pocket flaps the logo there on the sleeve Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let me tuck the t-shirt back inside. Tuck it back inside the bag here. Put the desiccant bag back in, of course. Squeeze the air out. Tape it back shut. Put it back over there. Of course, this 112 collective bag, since it is, is just a bag, 
and rolled up it came undone so that's going back in that corner cool set those aside anything left in the back okay now for the for the man of the hour himself hellboy Get the tray off of here. <clears throat> all right. So when a plastic cover came off with it, make sure to keep a hold of all that. So we're going to put it all back on there in a bit. Wow. This guy is impressive. All right. I'm gonna put him aside. Let's look at the accessories first because I'm excited. I don't want to get uh, too distracted. This sword is very well sculpted. It is super thin though. If you're not careful, you'll easily bend that or break it. So be careful when you're putting it in somebody's hand. It's a very cool style though. Very Roman. Yeah, that's a cool looking sword, folks. The horseshoe that's in there is so small. Gotta pop it out with the point of my knife there. See if you can see if you can see that folks on the end of my finger there. That is cool. It's super light. Well detailed. It's actually got holes all the way through it, so you can get the uh, tiny horseshoe nails in there. It's very cool. I don't know what I'll end up doing with it, but it's very, very nicely done. This revolver here. Very well detailed. Smooth handle. Gold... Uh, Bobble chain attachment there. I don't know if the barrel's hollow, but it's very cool. And the barrel or the cylinder does rotate. That is very cool. That's a uh, very careful detailing there. Very nice. Let's skip over to a flaming sword. How about that? Or it's an attachment to the sword. Gotcha. That's why the sword is so thin. Look at this sword. Or the fire effect here, folks. It is very cool. It's like a two, maybe three shades of yellow-orange plastic in there. I'll mold it together. Let's slide the sword in there that's cool that's fucking cool now it's got some weight to it with that flame piece on there very nice set that back in the tray that back in the tray let's look at variety of hands it's got a open ah hand it's the only way i can describe that very cool lots of great detail flexible fingers all of the fingernails are on there the veins in the back of the hand very cool look at the next one trigger finger that's the uh, gun shooting hand very nice very well detailed I've heard good things about Mezco and their detailing, and it looks like I heard truth. Let's get this other hand out of here. They're made of semi-soft rubber. This is a uh, weapon holding hand of sorts. Maybe for the sword. Probably for the sword. And uh, 
I'm going to have fun with these. Let's look at the right hand of doom. This is the fig this is a weapon holding hand of sorts. Yeah. Open, grabby hand. Very nicely detailed. Great big fat three knucks on there. Very cool. Very cool. Let's look at the open hand. Three fingers, one thumb. Flexible material. Very well painted. Nicely detailed. Not super heavy. So you'd be able to get some good posing in there, you know. Let's look at the flaming crown here. It's got an armature attached to it that you can, I'm guessing, attach to the back of his head with this piece here. And it looks like hair texture on it. Very cool. Very similar plastic to the uh, flaming sword over there. That's going to look wicked. Let's look at the horned head. Ah, it does have a little piece that you can take out so you can put the flaming crown on there. These horns look amazing. They're stiff. They do come out. So be careful. Very, very cool. The detail on this face, it, it's hard to come across because you can't really change the focus on my phone very well. But the hair is semi-flexible. So let's see, the other horn comes off. They are keyed. So one on one side, one on the other, not really interchangeable. Let's see if we can pop this back of the headpiece off. That's easy enough. Let's get this flaming crown piece in there. Once it's snugged in there, it's a little bit loose. So you have to be careful with that. But that, that looks amazing. If you take the photo just right, you won't even see the little plastic peg holding the uh, piece in the air. That's awesome. Now let me gently put the head back in the box there. Let me put the flame piece also back in the box just so I don't lose the damn thing in the process of looking at the figure itself I would cry if I broke something or lost it because I, I paid good money for this and I don't want to fuck it all up that thing does not want to go in there Fine, that's good right there. Let's put that there, put that there, put that over there. Let's look at the big boy himself. Let's get the, all these plastic pieces off. Got a nice little cradle there. It's got a piece of uh, protective plastic for the tail, sticks through the back. Now, that looks like them, folks. This figure's got some real good weight to it. The uh, belt is free-floating. So you can position that pretty much wherever you want. It is none. If it's removable, it's not easy and you don't want to break it. 
Let's check the articulation. You know what? Let's look at this face. This face is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Got the knot in the back. Got the hair down the back of his spine there. Good amount of down. That's a good amount of down. Seems like he's got a dumbbell joint in his neck, so... Still not a lot up, but that's alright. Watch the hair move around a little bit. You get a full exorcist. You get a... Let's see, nice. It's smooth, but stiff. That's 90 degrees, folks. The detail on this guy is amazing. The paint app on the eyes is, you know, the deep set um, sockets. You would think it's be hard to get in there, but get the light in there. You can see the eyes are well painted. It's amazing. That's great sculpt. Nice musculature here. Lots of good veining. You can see some scarring on the arms let's see you can do the full rotation on each arm so far let's see again why you would want to I don't know but you can let's get the elbow joint to turn let's see stiff single jointed elbows but they function very well. As if I got the right one. I believe I got the right direction on that. It's stiff, but functioning very well. Single jointed. A little better than 90. That's pretty good. He's got the bracelet thing on that hand. Got the fist there. Nice ball joint. Not not terribly obvious. It's always a bon always a bonus. Hoping I bring the arm back down there. And the right hand of doom rotates. The entire thing rotates around. I guess you can put whichever side of the forearm out that you want you got a fist on there now let's close i'm gonna fuck up your day kind of fist pops off easy or changing of the hands let's put that back on there for now let's see that's how easy let's check how easy it is to take this left hand off hey that's real easy too It's not loose. Snug. It feels like it'll stay on there. That's good. Let's see how well the uh, gun fits in the holster here. Great detail on these things, by the way. The gun fits nice and snug in the holster. You can reach over and draw it across. Or you can flip it around backwards, draw from the same side. Either way, take that out, put that back in the tray for now. Let's let's look at articulation of the torso. Let's see, you got a diaphragm joint. Not a huge amount of back. A little stiff, you can get it back about that far. Not so bad. Forward, about that far. A little bit of pivot, not so bad. Combined with the pelvic joint or lower torso joint, you can get some good range of motion. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. I dig it. Let's see how easy it is to take the head off here. Oh, that just popped right off. That's a lot easier than I expected. Pops right back on. Now we snap to change it around for photos. 
get his arm out of the way here. He's got cloth goods, pants, which I'm assuming with a little bit of effort you can remove, but I don't really need to. Got a hardened pelvis thing in there. <laughs> How about doing the splits? Let's see. Okay, forward. Not a lot of back. Feels like a double jointed knee in there. Good range of motion. Not loose, but not mega stiff. Good range of motion on the left leg. There, <laughs> it looks like the pants are tucked into the boots in a military style. You got good rotation. You can put the foot all the way around. Good sculpt. You can see recognizable um, hooks and ties on the boots there. Let's see, you got good, a little bit up, a little bit down, good pivot on the boots. All right, folks, let's look at the tail. This tail appears to have a bendy wire in the base of it, at least a little bit of a bendy wire in there, so you can move it around. Now, I'll tell you folks I'm impressed I am impressed this figure exceeds my expectations folks I was really hoping for nothing less considering I paid up for it so let's see oh yeah that's some great posability let me zoom in there That's halfway to one of the movie posters right there, folks. Let me adjust the lighting. All right. That is cool. Now, this piece here is piece number four in my David Harbor action figure collection. Obviously, uh, if you know him, know the movie. He played the character of Hellboy. And he's Chief Hopper in Stranger Things. So I'm going to take this beautiful figure here. And compare him to... Chief Hopper number two. As I call it. The date shirt from McFarlane Toys. Obviously, the, the scale is different because the actor would be the same height. Obviously, the character is not the same. We got Hasbro's Red Guardian. Totally not the same scale. And, of course, we got the uh, Chief Hopper in the police outfit. These four figures comprise my David Harbor action figure collection. I'm happy to have them. And let's move these three guys back here. Because I have, <laughs> it looks like they're twins. One cop, one drunk. <laughs> I have one other thing to compare here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Change the angle, adjust the light. Do all the fun stuff, get my finger out of the way. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna switch hands here real quick. And then we'll do the final comparison. Let's just get that guy on there. Let's get him the trigger finger on the other hand. Put that there. There. 
Let's see this hand's being a butt. <laughs> Gotta get the right grip. <laughs> All right, you little butt. All right, I'm gonna pause here for a second, folks. This is so riveting. Uh, I don't. I want to save it from you. Save you from it. Okay. After a moment of concentration, I was able to get the hand on there correctly. Uh, da, da, da. Let's get him standing. Well, let's get his gun in his holster. You'll see why in a second, folks. On a fair comparison. The... Get in there. David Harbour 2019 Hellboy from Mezco Toys 112 Collective. Put him here. And picked up at a toy swap recently a Ron Perlman Hellboy from 2004. Much heavier figure, but turns out by looking at the boot there, Mezco Toys. So I'm going to bring that in. The Ron Perlman figure from 2004 is a much bigger figure, beefier, <laughs> a lot beefier, but it's a different scale this is like a uh, seven inch scale this is more like a six inch scale so they're both hellboy to me but they're a lot different a lot different kind of movie i like the articulation in the uh 112 over here a lot better but you know i, I just had to uh bring them together two hellboys yeah, that's right. Move Ron Perlman back to the side. You know, before we go, I'm going to put on the horned head to see how that looks on the body. Goes on nice and smooth. Get his horn back on there good. Wow. That's going to make for some good photography, guys. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for my unboxing and review of the Mezco 112 Collective PX Exclusive uh, Hellboy from 2019. This figure is amazing. If you have any desire to have a very nice, well-made, very detailed Hellboy, specifically from 2019 movie, or just a good Hellboy to begin with, this is a good one. It's not cheap, but it is very, very nice. I'm not going to be uh, diving headlong into Mezco because they are pricey. But I am very glad I got this one. He is the fourth in my David Harbour action figure collection. And I'm real happy with him, folks. He's going to be a lot of fun to photograph. All right. If you like the video, like, comment share subscribe and if you feel the need to or feel the desire to throw me a bone and donate i'll put the uh, paypal in the description all right guys peace out